Hello, I'm Michelle Sims. I'm part of the district staff team and I'm the Fresh Expressions Pioneer Enabler. And you've joined me today on my daily walk near my home in Worksworth. I wonder how you're coping with the lockdown at the moment. I've been thinking a lot about the wisdom of the Desert Fathers and Mothers. The Desert Fathers and Mothers went out into the desert and spent long periods of silence and solitude in caves, probably like this one. And we have a lot of their writings with us still today. And one of the great things that was said was by Abba Moses, who said, go to your cell and your cell will teach you everything. So people that were inquiring of spiritual wisdom would get this reply from him. Go to your cell and your cell will teach you everything. In other words, go home and your home will teach you everything. They must have felt a bit shortchanged, I think. But actually, that's what we're being asked to do. We're being asked to stay home at the moment. How do you feel about that? Do you feel like you're stuck at home or do you feel like you're safe at home and there's a big difference isn't there Abba Moses is trying to say that our cell or our home in our case is a place of discovery and learning I wonder what you think about that it's a place where we could be spending time listening more attentively to God and dwelling deeper into our relationship with him and all that he wants to show us. Thomas a Kempis in The Imitation of Christ said, every time you leave your cell, you come back less a man. So this idea of solitude, silence, contemplation is really important uh, in the wisdom tradition. It's about paying attention to ourselves, to God and the world immediately around us as well. So where is your cell? Go to your cell and your cell will teach you everything. I want to show you something else. So Come with me. This is what I wanted to show you. I discovered this the other day, this bank of primroses, and they're growing on top of a rocky outcrop, which means they're just at nose level. You don't even have to bend down to smell them, and the smell is gorgeous. I think it's really important that we don't miss out on what God's trying to say to us and teach us at this time of pandemic and of lockdown. I don't want it to last a minute longer than it needs to, but even so, we are where we are. And it would be a shame if we didn't dwell deep with God at this time and find out what he wants to say to us as individuals and as churches and as communities. There's a woman called Nan Shepherd who writes in her book, The Living Mountain, about her lifetime spent walking in the Cairngorms, just the Cairngorms, nowhere else. She walked and walked and discovered, and she knew every blade of grass, every rock, every flower. And she said, one never quite knows the mountain, nor oneself in relation to it. However often I walk on them, these hills hold astonishment for me. There is no getting accustomed to them. That inspires me with a sense of there's more and more and more that we can know about God and about ourselves in relation to him. In Genesis 28, it says, When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he thought, 
Surely the Lord is in this place, and I was not aware of it. I want to leave you with one of my favourite poems now. It's by R.S. Thomas, The Bright Field. And that talks about how, if we're not careful, we can miss the glory of God that he's trying to show us. And it's overlaid with one of my favourite pieces of music as well, Spem in Allium by Thomas Tallis. So enjoy and go in peace and be still and dwell deep with God. Go to your cell and your cell will teach you everything. I have seen the sun break through to illuminate a small field for a while, and gone my way and forgotten it. But that was the pearl of great price, the one field that had the treasure in it. I realise now that I must give all that I have to possess it. Life is not hurrying on to a receding future, nor hankering after an imagined past. It is the turning aside, like Moses, to the miracle of the lit bush, to a brightness that seemed as transitory as your youth once, but is the eternity that awaits you. <laughs>